Good morning, YouTube. It's been a while, I know, but today we're doing a day in the life, but instead of at the zoo, it's my other job. Instructor at Moore Park College. I'm leaving San Diego right now. It is 645 and uh, class starts at 11. So here we go. Wish me luck on that commute. good time just over three hours to get here and I gotta say it's always like uh, kind of coming home again to get over here but look at this view I'm not familiar enough with the laws and rules and regulations about uh, how much I can and cannot shoot on campus so I'm not going to do any video uh, recording while in class uh, you have to take the class to uh, to hear my lectures um, but uh, yeah, well, I'll meet up with you guys again when I'm done with class here later this afternoon. It's um, about a three hour lab and then about a one hour lecture. So it'll be later this afternoon and uh, I'll catch up with you guys. So like I was saying, we will be handing out the syllabus. We're gonna go over this, the schedule too, but keep in mind the schedule might change. And then we have quite a lecture to go into about safety protocols and also- like Keep in mind, a bunny rabbit they're food for a lot of animals, right? They're a prey item. That means other animals eat them, boys and girls. Let me bring on, let me bring on the next animal. No. Can you imagine that if you and your family were out at the park, you and your family are out at the park, and there's a bird in the sky that wants to eat you. There is a snake in the ground that wants to eat you. There's a cat over there behind that stump that wants to eat you. There's a coyote coming down the hill that wants to eat you. Goodness, that's a bad day. <laughs> Predator's almost about to grab their fluffy butt. Then they go for the high jump because then the predator keeps going, they land and can go the other way. I tell you what, it might seem like a simple fluffy bunny pet to you. This is the ultimate survivor. Yes, I know. For a video that is about my day in the life as an instructor at Moore Park, it doesn't really you know, help drive the storyline of this video that I'm not showing anything from campus. But again, I don't know what the rules are there for sure, and I don't want to step on any toes or get anybody in a video who doesn't want to be. Rest assured, though, the uh, three-hour lab part of my class went well, at least in my opinion. I guess I can ask the students, or maybe they can leave a comment if they want, <laughs> or or not if it wasn't good. And <laughs> the, uh, the hour lecture went well. Also, we actually ran a little long because we got, got onto some good topics. But I, I, uh, I teach wildlife education outreach, and it is about a three to three and a half hour drive to get here in the morning, and about another four hours to get home in the evening traffic on Friday. And I don't overnight because I have responsibilities Saturday morning that need to be attended to, so I have to be back in San Diego. And the follow-up question to that then is usually, you know, why, why do you do that? Why do you drive so far and waste all that fuel and that time? I don't get paid bucket loads of money. It's not that much I get paid. In fact, by the end of the semester, I pretty much break even on gas money and food that I buy while I'm on the road for the day. Uh, it goes down to, uh, you know, I kind of asked myself that question why I wanted to do this when I started three years ago, or two years ago, because this is my third year. Either way, you know, I asked myself, why am I doing it? And why do I want to do it? What's driving me? And it's actually a pretty easy answer. It's pretty straightforward. You know, everything I do, I kind of have this own personal sort of why statement or mission statement, and it kind of distills down to that I, I truly believe that all of us, all of us collective humans, we have a desire to remain close to nature to some degree or another. We find it fascinating. I, I meet people grown up in the city, but they, they're fascinated by animals, or they, they don't even think they are until they meet some of the animals I work with, and they're fascinated by them. So based on that, based on... on uh, that sort of innate desire to be close to wildlife. I, I want to live my life reconnecting people to that. And the main reason, that I think I've mentioned this in another video, it's kind of selfish. It's because I love that wildlife. I love animals. I love the ecosystems of nature. I mean, these gorgeous habitats we have around our planet. And I can't covet them to myself. I can't keep them to myself because they need help. And I can't save them by myself. So I truly believe that by reconnecting people to that nature and to that wildlife that 
That's the first big step in saving that wildlife and saving parts of nature and, and our ecosystems. So you can see that pretty easily when I'm the spokesperson for the San Diego Zoo and, and do all of my programs. You can, you can see that here on social media, whether it's on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter. That's a big part of what I do. Um, I think teaching at Moore Park College, taking my 25 years of experience now that I have in animal care and animal science and training and communicating, which is the big part of it for me, um, I think I can, I can maybe offer up some bits of knowledge that if I had early on in my career, I could be that much further along. So how cool would it be that you know, my classes average 40 to 45 students, 44 this year. How cool is it that I can spend a semester with those, those students and offer up what I have learned over the years and, and uh, tips and tricks and communicating and, and uh, reaching that goal of connecting people to wildlife to that many more people. And maybe even, even if just, you know, a small percentage of that class moves forward in their life to reach out and connect people to wildlife or do something that saves wildlife, I think it's time well spent. It's definitely a part of my personal mission and, and my personal passion and so to be able to, to reach these students and work with these students just steps right in perfect line with all of that. So that's why I do it. I love it. It's, it's great. It's, the commute is not fun. <laughs> Thankfully, there's podcasts. But um, yeah, you know, that, that lab time, that lecture time, um, answering the questions of those who are thirsty for the knowledge and, and also learning from them. Oh my gosh, I, I'm in the position of instructor and they, they thank me for coming up there and spending time with them. But man, it's, it's, uh, I get so much out of it. I'm a student when I'm with them. Their questions help show me where I need to focus and what things that I need to be more aware of and the questions then that I, maybe I need to ask to further educate myself too. It's a good gig. It's a good gig all around. Uh, I, I really enjoy it. So that's why I do it. Now you know. All right, so obviously all of that was shot on Friday, the day I go up to Moore Park and teach, and uh, I didn't really get a chance to finish it, now, although I had kind of wrapped it up there at Malibu. I was hoping to do one last little bit when I got home, and it just never happened because I got stuck in some pretty bad traffic and ended up getting home very late, so super tired, just kind of crashed. So what did I want to wrap up with? Well, I just wanted to say that uh, I thank you guys for hanging out with me here on YouTube and my little day in the life there on a Friday, although you didn't really see much animal-wise or anything else. Hopefully it gave you a better idea as to why I do what I do. And if you have any questions, leave it in the comments, please. Give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribed to this channel too. Although I was attempting throughout the summer to do weekly uploads as we get into the semester now, it's not going to happen as frequently, but I will still be uploading videos and uh, still very, of course, active and engaged on all social media. So you can follow me there on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook or any of those, or just hang out with me here on YouTube. Either way, I hope you guys have a great one, and I will catch you next time. Thanks so much for joining me. Oh, and there should be videos popping up in boxes here you can click. I'll wait. Give a few seconds so you can click on one of them. Some video I've already done. Some of them are better than others. Uh, zookeeper one's pretty popular. Uh, Kookaburra one's popular. Oh, there's a blooper outtake one somewhere in there too. Either way, enjoy.